Today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to create your own thumbnail using Pixar. So, simply just go to the minus button on the bottom and then scroll down to drawings and then go to pick canvas. And as you can see, I've already customized mine, but if you scroll here, you'll see a custom button and you can custom your dimensions to 1280 by 720. So, just make sure they're at those dimensions and then press the arrow button at the top right hand corner once you have finished that then scroll like you get get your two fingers and scroll all the way down as possible to 29 percent and this is just helps us so when we add our image we won't have to keep on redoing it because we can't get it exactly onto the canvas so now just go to the image button and then go to photo and then select your image and as you can see i can just Quickly zoom in because it's so easy to do and rather having trouble with trying to get it exactly on it. So now that I like that, I'm going to go to the button and then the arrow button and then go to edit image and it's going to take me to the normal Pixar. So I'm going to go to add text and I'm going to add the text that I want. So I'm just writing aesthetic fonts and once I've done that, I'm going to press the tick button and then go to the font that I like. Obviously there's not a lot of choices with fonts, but I simply kind of just had to work my way around through it and I found one that I ended up liking, which was this one. And I went back to it and then I changed the color, my stroke, and kind of just edited all of that stuff. And then once I was happy with that, again, I just did my stroke again. And then once I was happy, I pressed apply. When I was doing this, I had to also think if I was going to add any overlays. So I had to minimize the size, thinking if I was going to put any overlays, if I was going to put any of those things. And yes, yeah, so I then went to the FX filter and see if I could any, add any like really cool filters to it and see if that could change something. But I didn't really find anything that I liked, so then I just pressed apply and then I went to lens flare. And this is where I could add a really cool like shine to my thing. So these are all the ones you can choose from. There's way like way more and they really really add a lot to your character to your video. So I just pre uh, pressed a purple one and this one was a little bit too bright. So I had to just delete that one and then go back into it and then select another one. I found this was a lot easier, so I just zoomed up onto it, and then I kind of resize it to make sure that if I was going to add another one, would there be enough room, would it look a bit weird, but it turned out really, really nice. So then I went back again to lens flare, and of course I added another one, but I did a blue version. So again, I just zoomed up onto it, and then I kind of placed it where I want it to go. And I thought at this moment I was it was going to just be too much, but of course it wasn't because it always works in Pixar. And as you can see, if you you think that your font is a little bit faded, you can actually always re-add it again. But that's pretty much all. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you wanted to like the blur, you can just go to the sticker button and then find just a plain great and then then you can, it will go to your photo and then you can actually change your opacity so you don't want it to be all the way dark because there's no point because you won't see your image or your edit so then you can just use the opacity and like change it down so yeah and thank you guys so much for 100 subscribers and your all your positive positive comments it's so nice to see them and i really wake up to all these lovely things thank you Thank you.